The attorney claimed Depp then grabbed her by the hair and pushed her to the ground. She claimed he stopped her from leaving the room and pushed his chest against her chest in order to bump her. The allegations are untrue, according to Depp. Johnny Depp said Tuesday that ex-wife Amber Heard had made sick claims of abuse and falsely branded him a monster, as the actor testified in a UK libel case that hinges on who was the aggressor in the celebrity couple's violent toxic relationship. Depp is suing British tabloid The Sun over an April 2018 story headlined Potty. How can JK Rowling be genuinely happy casting wife beater Johnny Depp in the new Fantastic Beast film? The newspaper's lawyers plan to use Heard's allegations of abuse by Depp to defend the wife beater claim. The Pirates of the Caribbean star strongly denies Heard's claims that he assaulted her during their tempestuous marriage and is suing The Sun's publisher, News Group Newspapers, and its executive editor, Dan Wutan. These sick claims are totally untrue, Depp said in a written witness statement, adding that Heard's allegations hurt his career and has been a constant issue in my casting. A three-week trial over his libel claims opened Tuesday at the High Court in London. It is one of the first major cases to be held in person since Britain began to lift its coronavirus lockdown. Depp entered the witness box of the wood-paneled courtroom wearing a dark suit and tie and began by taking the court oath and giving his full name, John Christopher Depp II. Their court date is slated for early 2022. In addition to the libel allegations, the trial will also examine Heard's counterclaims that her ex-husband sicked social media bots on her. The exes were married from 2015 to 2017. After their split, they accused each other of abuse, though both denied any wrongdoing. As per page 6, a UK court found in November 2020 that the Pirates of the Caribbean star had beaten Heard at least 12 times. Despite a devastating legal loss in the United Kingdom, Hollywood actor Johnny Depp will get a second libel trial to try to show that he didn't physically abuse his ex-wife Amber Heard. As per reports, Depp, 58, has been allowed to move forward with his defamation lawsuit against Heard. The actor is suing his ex-wife over a 2018 Washington Post op-ed where Heard wrote about surviving domestic violence. Heard never named Depp in the op-ed, but she did accuse the actor of domestic violence amid their 2016 split, which he denied. In court documents, a Virginia judge granted the actor the right to pursue his lawsuit, denying Heard's supplemental plea to dismiss the case after Depp lost his UK libel lawsuit against British tabloid The Sun. In November 2020, the Pirates of the Caribbean star lost his case against the British tabloid which called him a wife beater. The court upheld the outlet's claims as being substantially true. Heard's plea to dismiss Depp's lawsuit filed in Virginia in March of 2019 came as the actor argued the UK judgment should hold sway on the proceedings in the US since both lawsuits center on allegations of the actor as an abuser. Instead, Fairfax County Chief Judge Penny Asgaret rejected Heard's plea, saying while the actor's op-ed and The Sun's article may be similar in that they related to claims of abuse, the statements made by the tabloid and Heard in her op-ed were inherently different. In her December 2018 op-ed, Heard wrote, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse, and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out. Three months after it was published, Depp filed a defamation lawsuit against the actor for $50 million. According to Page Six, the Aquaman star wore a sleeveless white blouse and blue jeans during the mother-daughter outing, with the pair being joined by friend Eve Barlow. In April 2021, Heard had quietly welcomed Unog via surrogate and chose the middle name Page after her late mother. The Drive Angry star opted to go the surrogacy route after being told she would never be able to carry her own baby. Friends revealed at the time. A source who knows the star told Page Six, Unog is absolutely gorgeous, and Amber is besotted. She always knew that she wanted to be a mom, and this is her greatest wish come true. She's so grateful to the wonderful woman who helped bring Unog into her life. The most important thing for Amber is that she's open about Unog's birth. The source continued and further added, there are so many women who feel they can't talk about their fertility and are worried and embarrassed. Amber wants them to feel supported and realize that there are a multitude of ways to have a baby even if you have fertility issues. The family outing came one day before Heard's ex-husband, Johnny Depp, made a rare red carpet appearance at the Deauville Film Festival in France. It also marked one of her first public sightings since a judge ruled in August that Depp could proceed with pressing libel charges against Heard over a 2018 Washington Post op-ed accusing him of domestic violence during their brief marriage.
conspiracy. Johnny Depp alleged that his former wife Amber Heard or one of her friends defecated in their bed. A court heard on Friday, the fourth day of his libel trial in London against the publisher of The Sun newspaper. Depp said the incident was a fitting end to the relationship. Depp is suing Robert Murdoch's newsgroup newspapers and journalist Dan Wooton for an article on The Sun website on April 27, 2018 that described him as a wife beater. Depp denies that he was violent towards Heard, to whom he was married from 2015 to 2017. The day of the party started badly. Depp had a meeting with his accountant, during which he was told some rather unfortunate news about his financial situation. Depp said, I was in financial dire straits. As a result of the meeting, Depp arrived two hours late to Heard's birthday party, held at the Eastern Columbia building in Los Angeles. Everyone had already eaten and the meal was over. After the party ended, Depp went to bed and began to read a book. Was asked Depp, you went home and read a book on her 30th birthday, when you had been two hours late for her party and you knew she was angry. Depp said he wanted to avoid a confrontation. Heard was very upset he was so late and said it showed he didn't care according to Depp. It then ramped up and she became very upset, very angry, he said. Was told Depp, you took Amber's anger about you being late as criticism and you don't like criticism. This provoked you to become angry, she continued, and you were, at the time you were angry, near a magnum bottle of champagne. Was alleged that Depp then got out of bed and threw the bottle at Heard. It missed her and smashed. 